<clears throat> hey, what's going on guys? Jason here and in this video I will be talking about how to fetch data from an API in React and basically render it out to the page. And so this will be our app set up here. So we'll just go we're just going to have two components in React. So we're going to have our app component which is going to be the parent component. And this app component will contain uh, these children components which will be a dog image component. And so, and so all the app is going to do is it's going to make a uh, API request to this uh, dog API. So we're going to make a request for some dog images and we're going to make that request to this API and then this API will just send us back those image URLs to our app and then we'll just render it out to the page. So that's going to be the uh, setup there. So let's get into it. So here's our app right now. So I use this uh, I created this using create react app so then I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove some of this boilerplate code that we don't need okay so I'll go ahead and give it a title of dog images there we go <clears throat> and all right so first thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and add uh, some state to our app so go ahead and do this add the constructor method there and then we'll do a super, pass name props. And so our state for our app will basically be, let's see, so we'll do this.setState equals to, uh, it'll just be an array of dog images. So we'll do dog images and an empty array for now. All right, so currently we have our state set up. So it'll be, it'll be uh, dog images and it'll be an array which will contain all the URLs for our dog images. And let's see here. Uh, the next thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and set up the API request. And so we're going to make use of this component did mount method. That's a part of React. And so whenever uh, React renders out your components uh, to the DOM, it there's this lifecycle method that runs called component did mount. So whenever the component gets uh, rendered out to the DOM, this component, or I'm sorry, this method will get fired and it'll run whatever code is inside here. So then what we want to do is whenever the component gets rendered, we'll go ahead and make our API request. And to make that API request, we'll make use of the fetch method. And with fetch uh, inside here, we're basically going to uh, invoke it. And in here, we'll pass the endpoint that we want. So if you go to this website called Dog API, it provides you uh, different endpoints for you to get different types of uh, dog data like uh, breeds, subbreeds, and just random images. And so I'll be making use of this endpoint. And so this endpoint will give us a list of an array of dog URL images. So right now this one, this endpoint will give us three images. So let's go ahead and make use of that pass that in there. So uh, the fetch method will return a promise object so that means we can make use of dot then and then we will do res and then we'll do res dot json so so when we run this method it'll first give us the response object and so that has that doesn't actually give us the data that we want so what we have to do is, uh, so we gave it the parameter name of res, and then after that we're going to return res.json so that we can get the JSON data for that endpoint. And so this actually returns another uh, promise object, so then we'll do this dot then again. And then we'll do, for the uh, parameter, we'll just call it data. And oops, uh, so that's an arrow function there and then okay cool so then now that we have our data here we want to set our state so we want the data to so we want our state to contain the uh, data that we got from the API so to do that we need to call this dot set state and if you look in our state this uh, we have this dog image pro dog images property so we just want to do dog images and then we want to set the state and uh, if we go back to this website 
this is what the JSON response looks like. So all we want is this array of URLs, which is under this message property. And so what we need to do is do the sorry data dot message uh, yep, message and uh, yep so I believe that's it so dog images is now going to contain this uh, array so now so it looks like we're done with that so now all we need to do is create our dog image component and basically render it out to the page so I'll go in here and do a dog image dot js and I need to import react Oops. and for this component this one will be a functional component so we'll do function dog image and we'll do props as a parameter there because from our parent component we're going to pass down the URL data from our state to our doc component as props. Uh, and I'll get more into that once I create this component. So we'll do dog image. And all this component will return is an image tag. So we'll do image. And uh, let's see. And then we'll need the source. So the source will be the URL that we need for this dog image. So that's going to come from our props. That's going to be passed down. So props and then props.url. So uh, this props name is the name that I'm going to give it from my app.js component. So uh, let me just create that real quick so it makes more sense. So then now that I created my dog image component, I'm just going to import it. And we'll do dog image, dog image from dog image. There we go. All right. And okay, cool. So now that we have our dog image component created, we're going to render out the list of uh, dog images to our to the page. So what we need to do now is we need to basically create a component for every URL that's inside our state. So to do that, I am going to go into our render method. I'm going to create a variable called dog uh, list. So then I'm going to uh, map through the our dog image array and create a component for every URL that's in there. So I'm going to do this dot state dot dog images dot map and we're gonna pass in the image for the URL. All right. All right, cool. So then for every uh, URL inside our uh, dog images array we're going to return our dog image component and inside that dog image component or on that component we're going to pass a prop called URL and that URL will be our image dot uh, actually it'll just be image actually let me rename this so dog images I'll call this URL because it's actually just a URL, so that'll make a little more sense. Uh, right, so then dog list. So, yep, we're mapping through our dog images array, which is going to be an array of URLs. So, it's going to take that URL and we're going to return a dog image component, and we're going to pass in that component a prop called URL, and we're going to set it equal to the actual URL. And Okay, so now that we have that, so now inside our return statement in the uh, on the JSX here, we're going to uh, add some curly braces there and pass in our dog list uh, variable. So let's save that and let's go back to our page. Let's see if we got any errors. Dog image does not contain a default export. Oh, so if I go back to a dog image. 
I actually forgot to export this dog image. So that way we can actually import it from our app.js file. And all right, so there we go. So here is our uh, list of dog images. So uh, let's see. So it looks like we're getting a warning here. Let's see. So each child in an array iterator should have a unique key prop. So whenever you're rendering out lists in React, um, React uh, tells you that you need to pass in a key property to that um, to whatever you're rendering out. So all I have to do is do a key and set that equal to let's see. So basically just a unique um, value of some sort. So with our map method, we actually have access to another uh, parameter, which which is the index. So I'll go ahead and just pass that in as a key. Go back, and it looks like we don't get that uh, warning error anymore. And so, yep, yeah, so that's the um, project there. So all we're doing is uh, fetching some images or some image data or some data from this dog API and then we're uh, receiving that data and then we're just taking that data and rendering out some components and that's how that is set up so hopefully that makes sense uh, you can also style it some more if you'd like to to make it a little prettier prettier uh, let's see if there's anything else I think we need to cover uh, nope that's good so hopefully you guys found this video useful if you guys did go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.